This video is going to be a tip on how to use a used tube of caulk. Sometimes when you take out your old tube of caulk, you will realize that the, um, the tips clog. So what you'll end up doing is cutting the spout a little bit bigger. That's going to be a problem because when you go at, when you go ahead and caulk, more caulk than you need is going to flow out. So how do you handle that? What I like to do is just get any sort of tape. In, in this case, I'm using blue painter's tape, but I've done this trick with masking tape, duct tape, and clear uh, packaging tape. They all work fine. Um, so what you want to do is take the tape and what you're essentially going to do is make your own uh, spout tip by wrapping the tape around. Then what you'll get is this. So what you do is you can close as much of the tape tip that you need in order to get the right size tip hole. So I actually need it to be even smaller so I'm going to close that down a little bit more. The tape's just going to stick onto itself. And this is the hole that you're left with. Right there. The hole, the, the hole may not be circular as in this case, but when the caulk comes out, it'll come out uh, nice and round. Now, this is a tabletop for a built-in that I made. So what I'm going to do is fill in the crack with the caulk. You'll see that the exact amount of caulk you need will come out of the, the caulking gun. All you need to do now is tool it. I like to use my finger. And this is the end result. Once this is painted, it's going to look perfect. And then when you're done, you just take another strip of tape. Get that ready and use the tape that's already on the spout to close it back up. It's going to give the perfect seal, so the next time you get this cock out, the, um, you're not going to have that much of a blockage next time. And then with the new piece of tape, just give it another seal tightly around the tip, and then close off this, the tip.
I completed all three sides and this is what it looks like.